Hi, Michael Burnett, AF7KB, here with a strategy question for you. Do you even really need to know the math for the extra class ham exam? The short answer is no. Let's do one quick calculation that might help you relax about this stuff, which would actually make it easier to learn. It also might save you a lot of time and effort. There are 713 questions in the question pool for the extra exam. In the Fast Track Math Workbook, we deal with all 45 of the questions that require calculation, or at least a very good memory for random numbers. All right, let's do a little math. 45 calculation-based questions divided by 713 total questions equals 0.063 equals 6.3%. Now, you can miss 26% of the 50 questions on the exam and still make a passing grade. The calculation-based questions account for 6.3% of the questions. You need to get at least 37 correct answers to pass the exam. The odds are your exam will have three or four calculation-based questions. Let's say you completely blow off learning the math. You take your best guess at those questions and you manage to guess wrong on all of them. That leaves 46 or 47 questions, and you need to get all but 9 or 10 of those correct. Now, based on pure percentages, if luck is on your side, and if you get about 80% of the non-calculation questions right, you could miss all the calculation questions on the exam and still walk away with your extra class license. The only catches are that whole if luck is on your side business and the fact that those other questions are generally not so easy. This isn't the technician exam, after all. It really comes down to this. Why are you working on getting your extra class ticket? If your sole purpose is to get that ticket and maybe that shiny new 1x2 or 2x2 call sign, well, that points toward one strategy. If your goal is to really learn all the material covered by the exam, well, that points toward another strategy. Let me make at least a bit of a case for taking that path. By now, ham radio is either a pretty fun part of your life or you have a very weird way of picking hobbies. Personally, I find the whole hobby interesting, even the stuff that's challenging to learn, and I imagine you're much the same way. I won't say categorically that you can't possibly understand electricity without knowing the math. I think Michael Faraday seemed to do okay, after all, and Marconi didn't know much about the mathematics of radio waves either, because... No one did at the time. Still, mathematics does make it easier to understand the more advanced electrical concepts covered in the extra exam. Stretching your brain is good for your brain. This is a great way to stretch it. And as you learn more, you have more to offer your fellow hams and your community. My free advice which is easily worth twice what you paid for it, is to do the work, learn everything you can, but don't freak out. Make your goal excellence, not perfection. Okay, subscribe to the channel because this video collection is growing. Go like our Facebook page, visit the FastTrackHam.com website, and thanks for watching. 7-3.